One thumbs up already. Wonderful. Hello, uh, everybody. Yeah. Let's see if we get any comments. Just make sure we are live. There's nothing worse than talking to yourself. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> sure, I'm sure we are. For those, any makes sense. for those of you that don't know, this is Josh. It's written at the top from Jack Rabbit Vapes. Josh is like the man. So he's my contact. Um, and any e-liquid questions that we have tonight, I'm sure Josh would love to answer them to the best of his ability. I'm not seeing any comments in chat. Uh, I think there are one or two watching. Can someone just say something in chat so we know we are actually live? That would be great. Oh. Hi, Lynn. Hi, DJs. Yeah, there you go. All up and running. Fantastic. That's good. Thanks, thanks, Daniel. Thanks, Lynn. Lynn and Daniel are my two. I've only got two spanners. Josh, and they they are my two. They they, they keep <laughs> check on any random intervention that we might get in in chat. <laughs> so, uh, right. Well, normally, as I say, this is Josh from Jack Rabbit Vapes. Normally, I'd ask what someone's vaping on, and because it's normally a reviewer with about thirty four items in front of them. So, how many <laughs> you got, Josh? <laughs> one. Just got the one today, Mark. <laughs> one. <laughs> So, well, you Your might as well tell us what that one is and what, what well, juice have you got? Peach, papaya and mango. Oh, you've got my concentrate in there. I know, it's a bit cheeky, isn't it, really? No, it's not cheeky at all. It's fantastic. <laughs> so, what uh, what piece of equipment are you using there? This is my... I've got an Aegis Legend, but it is a little bit battered at the moment, although it's supposed to be indestructible. Why I bought it is... But all of the rubbers keeps coming off off the side, as I'm sure you can see. Uh, right. Oh, my word, yeah, it is. So not that indestructible. That's a heavy vapour. Yeah. And then a Falcon tank, which I've changed. Like It looks like I've tried doing it deliberately, but I end up breaking parts of it. <laughs> so I sort of mix it up. So I've got green, red, and blue, but not deliberately. So I'm not I, trying to be cool. Are you heavy-handed then, Josh? Uh, uh, yeah, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> you're sliding... You're, you want to... You're sliding <laughs> off the screen. Ah, that's better. Again, again. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just say good evening to one or two people in chat. I've said hi, Daniel. Hi, Lynn. Um, OV live reviews. Hi, OV. Uh, That'd be Sam, I'd imagine. And, oh, is it? Oh, of course, Ox so. John, that threw me last time. Oxfordshire Vapours. Duh. <laughs> Thick point to me. That's 1-0. <laughs> <laughs> Andy Fletcher, oh god, I'm red, I feel like I'm going red. Andy Fletcher, hi, <laughs> hi Andy, uh, the Faceless Vapor, uh, Simon Bridgewood, and that's it, that's it, there's just the, the, those few in chat at the minute. Well, I might as well go through what I'm vaping on, which might take a little bit longer than yours, George. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a few more than me. I haven't I've got, got a few masses. secret ones, but. Yeah, I haven't got masses tonight. I've got one, one new thing through. These arrived. I saw these at Expo. I get on well with Dovpo. And I asked them if they had any new products. And they told me about these, which isn't... That's my 22mm True Tank on there. So you can see how small that is. And it's a, it's a lovely 60 watt mod. It's just a battery inside it already. Um, you know, it's not a, a separate battery. <coughs> Thumb firer at the top here. Temperature control, wattage, voltage, whatever you want down here. And the USB charger here, down the bottom. But it's like that textured rubber coating. Um, and it, it just feels so nice in the hand. It's a bit like, have you ever seen the Artery Nugget? No. Um, actually, Tina mangled one in the lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> you saying about that charging port, though, Mark? They're, they're so useful. But one thing on the legend is that the actual, a normal like micro USB, yeah, doesn't fit. Oh, does inside that? It. The actual port fits, but the thickness of the um, I don't know what you call it, but the the actual bit you hold onto when you push in. Oh, right, fit into like the, the outer hole. rubber, like the sheet. So frustrating, and not oh, a lot right. of people seem to pick up on that until they buy it, and then. Oh, quite a few people moan about it. Oh, well, that's interesting. There you are. 
Well, that's hardware procedure as well. That's the remnants of an artery nugget that Tina ran over with a lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> Not as indestructible as the ages then. It fell out of her pocket, and she carried on going up there with a this like petrol <laughs> lawnmower. Clonk, and there's we found sort of bits and pieces of it everywhere. Yeah, so let's throw that away. But no, it's ju it's just a, a gr great little. I've been using this all day, and I don't know if you can see. Where's my... Oh, I probably can't focus it now because I forgot. Can you see the battery level? And this is all yeah. I've used today. All day on a mouth to lung. And it's it's just stayed with me. It's good. So, good. yeah, over the moon. They're in three colours. They're on the site now. I put them on last night. Well, I say last night, this morning, about 2 a.m. Um, <laughs> they're red and black, plain black and... What I looked at as thought, well, that's like if someone's got a Dewalt, that's their colour, isn't it? Like, <laughs> fit, mix in well with your power tools. Uh, who else have we got? Curly Chew, just flicking through. I'm awful with chat, Josh, uh, but looks quite slow tonight, so I might, <laughs> might be able to catch up. So I did a uh, spot that was actually Ian, not Sam. So, hi, Ian. Uh, it was Ian, was it? Hi, Ian. <laughs> and uh, sorry about OV, and I didn't, you got me on that before, so I was double thick point. <laughs> so, yeah, Curly Chew, hi, Curly Chew. Tina, hi, Tina. Thanks for that, Warren. Have you seen. Um, the Martin Clunes, the TV driving instructor, Warren. No. Uh, it was a little six-part series. It, it was, I actually think it was the funniest thing he's ever been in. It was really funny. Uh, you know, it was like Men Behaving Badly, but a modern version with just him. Right, okay. Um, but Tina seems to think I resemble him, which is a bit worrying. <laughs> <laughs> Must have a look there, Mark. Just, just for the laugh. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, she seemed to think so. Vaping Smurf. Hi, Vaping Smurf. Um, oh, my word. Japanese one. Well, welcome. I'm trying to translate it, but... Yeah, I'm sorry I can't say your name, but welcome. And Spectre. Spectre's from the US. Hi, Spectre. Hello, Spectre. Um, right, so that's the first thing I was vaping on. And that's... I'm, like you, I've got the same thing in there. I've got the mango, papaya and peach concentrate with my... There's a good one true tank so that's that one i've got a new drip here which i can tell you about now because it's almost going to be ready i can't remember the name of it it's made by keys it's their new one and um, this dripper is is amazing you can i put 60 drops of juice in here with it's not on a squonk mod or anything like that and it i still didn't get any spit back or leaks 60. 60 drops of juice in this dripper. 60. 60. Yeah. And wow. Still no spit. Normally you get a mouthful of spit back, yeah. didn't you? None. Didn't get any. Quite impressive. Mark, as you know, Mark, as I know you like to uh, take the mickey out of me about it, I don't I don't drip myself. We'll get I'm to useless. that. We'll get to that. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's coming. That's coming. <laughs> Rob. Hi, UK Vapester. That's Rob. Uh, right, what else am I on? Well, I did a review on this on Sunday. The Kelpie with the... Oh, I always forget the name of this. This is the Cold Steel um, 100 mod. That's it. That's not a hard name to remember, is it? Why I can't remember, I don't know. It's a heavy 21700 mod. It actually looks worse, shall I say, when you see a picture of it. Again, in the flesh, it's... That looks a bit sort of bolt on, doesn't it? But it's not. It's all moulded as part of it. But it is, and it's black, so it's hard to see. But that is a nice, solid mod. It kind of reminds me of the old Pravari. Um, I don't know if you'll remember that. That's going back a bit now. But oh, pretty. So I'm definitely more of a liquid man than a hardware man, Mark, oh, I have yeah, to say. Yeah, well, you'll get me on the liquid, I'm sure. I'll just get you on that. <laughs> now, I put in that the new Cherry Bakewell. Um, it is only a, this is our... We'll get to that as well in a minute. Oh, this is our secret. new... The top secret, is it? Oh, bugger. <laughs> <laughs> That's our new concentrate, which we will be doing um, with Jack Rabbit Vapes. Uh... 
who else have I missed? No one. Here. Oh, hi, David. <laughs> you can read that chat, can you? Yeah, what, yeah, yeah. Got what that. a man he is. <laughs> Hello, cockers. How's your sock? Nice. Thanks, David. <laughs> Thanks, David. <laughs> Good to meet you too. <laughs> so yeah, David's got a great sense of humour. Uh, <laughs> Nige Bray, hi Nige. Right, I think that's pretty much all I'm on. I've got a couple of other bits. I've got um. That's a new tank that I'll reveal more about that. It's a pro, sort of a prototype, which I'm... Liquid, isn't it? It's not one of yours. <laughs> How could you? How could you? <laughs> it's, a, it's a Manabush tobacco-y sort of liquid in there. Can't beat Manabush, though, can you? Mm. Tobacco flavours. And that that's a little tiny, dinky 18mm uh, mod, and there's going to be a a uh, mod tank RTA and there's going to be a mod to to pair up with that which is where my brain was ahead of my mouth or other way around but know what you're saying yeah <laughs> so I've got my Jack Rabbit t-shirt on well done me glad I got one side down <laughs> <laughs> terrible isn't it so, yeah. a <laughs> <laughs> so Josh why don't you tell us a little bit uh, a background. I'm sure you can explain it better than me about Jack Rabbit Vapes. When you started, and whatever you want to tell us, whatever you want to yeah, tell so us. Yeah. So basically, the company is a family business, and it started off with I say it's family. My best friend uh, Torren. Um, weird story, but we were actually born on the same day in the same hospital, about three hours apart. So we always claim that we're brothers, Crikey. although there's a uh, about a foot difference in height. So I'm six foot five, and he's about about You're five six ten. Six foot like. five, are you? Yeah. Crikey! I know it's bad, isn't it? I know buying jeans is a nightmare. <laughs> but he's um, <laughs> he's um, yeah, not quite as tall as that. Yeah. He likes to claim he's five ten, but I'm not convinced. <laughs> um, started it up, I don't know, about uh, three years ago. Yeah. And um, we were all on um some some juices that are about back in the day, which I won't name, but we um decided we thought we could do it better basically, and yeah. really went to town that we spent a significant amount of money, really thought that we were going to be awesome, and um, it was going to be easy. It definitely wasn't, and we definitely were not e no, we were not awesome <laughs> so, in the slightest. Okay. Honestly, the flavours we brought out were, yeah, horrendous, absolutely horrendous. And we were trying, literally, it was only, like, to be honest, it was a bit of a hobby. We were just making it for yeah. ourselves, just trying to, trying to find something. And then we come across, we managed to make a strawberry cheesecake. Right. Because at the time, that was sort of like the rage. It was sort of starting to come in. Yeah. And I still, to this day, have not tasted a strawberry cheesecake that was genuinely as good as that one. And we took it into... So we, we were sorting out um, like friends and family, uh, just trying to get people to quit smoking, to be honest. So like my dad, you know, mum sort of thing. <clears throat> and um, took it into... We thought one day, we thought, well, you know what, why not, why not let's just try it? We can sell it to our friends, we can sell it to family and stuff. You never know, people might be interested in working with us. Let's see what happens. Mm. Took it into Vapor Lights in Harrow. Right, okay. Um, I remember the, the guy, uh, uh, David, well, Elijah Wood, his name was, which cause I remember it because it was Frodo, wasn't it? And uh, not the same bloke, by the way. Frodo does not run a vape shop nowadays. And <laughs> went and saw him and uh, got him to try the strawberry cheesecake. Yeah, and it genuinely blown away. Like he's like, Josh, that's absolutely amazing, but your your branding is awful. And we basically had like a little silhouette of a rabbit. Okay. Call it Jack Rabbit. Yeah. And they were just printed off on sticky sticky paper. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. And he was just like, the flavor's amazing, but it needs to look the part. So all right, okay, fine. So back to the drawing board, and that torrent, and I've still not forgiven him, lost the notepad. So the notepad that had. It, honestly, it's hilarious. It's a love heart. So it's a big pink love heart notepad that he blatantly stole from his girlfriend. Right. And um, he lost the notepad that had the recipe in it. Cannot find it even to this day. Like, no idea where it oh, is. I'm sure it's disappeared now. But, um, yeah, and that, that's basically how it sort of started. Because we, we started um, buying in, like, bottles in, in, um, in bulk and uh, started trying to get into a few shops. <clears throat> Got into several shops. And um, then the TPD came in. Yeah, the TPD came in. Obviously, we're like we're in a bit of trouble now. Not that we were worried about our flavours, but 
it's a big investment at the time. It was a silly amount of money to get it in. Yeah. And um, we come up with this idea. This is, I know this sounds like I'm making it up, but I've, this is, I've, I've actually just, heard this story, so I know it's true. <laughs> we, were, <laughs> we were planning on um, actually closing shop because we couldn't, there's no way. I mean, we're just two, two blokes. We come, we come from, I want to say nothing, but you know, I was born in the council estate in, in Oxford, Blackbird Lees, if anybody knows where that is. Sorry, Ian. And um, we didn't, we didn't grow up with a lot. So spending the money we'd spent to yeah. get this going, not that we were trying to be like a big business, but we wanted to be available. We wanted yeah. everybody to know who we yeah. are. That's all we really wanted. Yeah. And um, not that that's a lot to ask. <laughs> Still got a bit. But, um, you know, we spent, we come at TPD and we're, we can't afford it. So we ended up going on our first ever holiday together with our girlfriends. And um, woke up the next day and Tyron came in to me and he's like, I just had a brilliant idea. I was like, what's that? It's like mid-holiday. He's like, why don't we actually make e-liquid? You can have a nicotine, but effectively you're allowed to have nicotine up to 10 mil, 10 milliliters inside a bottle. Yeah. He's like, why can't we get a, a flavorless e-liquid that's high nicotine content and put it into a bottle? And I'll tell you what, because the nicotine quality that was on the market at the time Leaving it in with a bottle, everyone obviously steeping's brilliant. I think yeah. you can't beat steeping. Yeah. But at the same time, if you don't have great nicotine, you leave it in a bottle, it starts. It does go funny. Yeah. I don't know what the word is. But it, it oxidizes. The, the, right. the nicotine oxidizes the liquid, makes it taste a little bit off. Yeah. So we decided that's actually not a bad idea. So we gave it a try on our Bonoffi pie. Yeah. Which was the flavor we just released, and um, we gave it a try, and it worked. So we went to Aceta. So like the e-cigarettes right, trade yeah. industry, whatever. Yeah. And I went to them and they said, you know, we can't, there's nothing we can do about it. We don't like it, but it works. Yeah. And then we went to Trader Standards and um, sat down with them for a couple of hours. And they said, yeah, again, we don't like it, but it works. Yeah. So we then went to a couple of uh, large manufacturers, ago, I won't name them, but large manufacturers and asked them if they could make us a 15 mg per milliliter flavorless e-liquid. Yeah. And the answer was no, because it's illegal, Right. is what they said. It's a grey yeah. area. Yeah. Well, so we thought, right, we're going to have to go back to TBD. But we knew our flavours were good. We thought we could do this. Yeah. So we spent, we got some investors involved. I say investors. My actual, my, my godfather yeah. and my girlfriend uh -huh. put some money in towards it. Mm. So hence the family side of it, because there's the four of us that work together. We're all friend, really close friends, all family. Yeah. And um, went for the TBD. During the period of going through the TPD, we then get a phone call from said manufacturer who said we couldn't make a flavourless shot, as he called it, and said, don't yeah. worry, Josh, I'll make it for you. Yeah. So he made it for us, 15 milligrams per milliliter, because we had 50 ml bottles. Right, okay. 40 ml of liquid inside it. Yeah. And basically went to quite a load, a load of shops, asked them, they're like, no, not interested, fingers are legal, fingers are legal. Yeah. And then the industry fought back. Yeah, and brought out the 60 mil <laughs> short bottle of e liquid, <laughs> leaving me with 12,000 empty yeah. bottles of 50 ml. Yeah, so they all went in the bin basically. Long story short, because so, nobody would buy them. So, you probably really should have, I don't know, it's easy in hindsight, isn't it? No, if you knew then what you know now, you'd have fought a little harder for that and just done it, oh, wouldn't definitely. you? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I mean, testing's always been important, like all of our. <clears throat> Even our short fills are still tested yeah. as if they are part of the TPD. Yeah, yeah. So that's what we, we always, we think that's really, really important. Um, mm. Not just from like, you know, the, there's all sorts of aspects. If you want to be, in my opinion, if you want to be a company that's reputable and people can trust you, yeah, just get it tested. Yeah. yeah. It does cost a bit of money, but yeah. it's worth it because you know you, you, you know, you haven't got that risk of... Um, any nasties, as they call Any it. Any nasties. Is, is that the Oxford accent? That's my Oxford country accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the Queen's English quite anymore, Mark. <laughs> and I'll and just send one or two hi. more people in chat. Hi, John. Hi, Pav. Pav's lovely. I met Pav at Expo. He's, he's a character. Hello. Um, and Kieran from Another Vape Channel. I think Kieran has reviewed your, your juice before, hasn't he? Ooh, Kieran. Kieran, Another Vape Another Vape Channel. It's the blue emblem. I don't know if you can see, chat. It's the blue emblem. Mm, uh, I'm not sure. If just, you'd like to, Kieran, you're more than welcome to. 
There you go. You see, there's an invite. I think actually, <laughs> I, it's remiss of me. I did mean to send Kira. I can't remember if I did or I didn't. And my head's all over the place at the minute. But um, <laughs> the concentrates. I, I mean, Kieran does lovely juice reviews, and you know, I'd like yes. him to to do one of my concentrates. That'd be good. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Sorry, I interrupted you. So, I mean, that little pink book. You'll be in a pub one day, and someone say, "You were you left this a few years ago." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? And then you could bring out that flavour. Well, to be fair, Mark, you know what it's like. Rose-tinted spectacles. and I'll probably try it and think, oh, probably that was awful. Awesome. Where'd that come from? It wasn't as good as Why I remember. I think that was good? <laughs> More than likely. But, uh, yeah, sorry, I interrupted. So, uh, no, no worries at all. Ca- carry on. No, that I mean that was so we, we yeah we ended up making nicotine shots. We put a couple of adverts in Subway magazine and really tried pushing it. There is actually a YouTube thing. You you will laugh because if you go on to Jack Rabbit Vapes's uh, YouTube channel, I think we've had probably about forty views, oh, and it's been on for like two years. That, that sounds <laughs> like my channel. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just it's just basically got um yeah it just shows you in a video how to use a nicotine shot because people didn't know at the time. Yeah. And now um, it seems to be all the rage. I'm just going to... Oh, good. My writing's come up properly now. You won't be able to see this, but it'll come up on the screen. You watch it on the playback. But Andy Fletcher has just put, I love your concentrates, Mark. Well, Andy, they are this man. Thanks to this man, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> so, Thanks, uh, Andy. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so... Um, oh, and that's that's where I got to hear, hear about it. Was, was it Vapor Round in the box when they sent the juices? Vapor Round box, yes. Yeah, a lot of ten mil samples. Yeah, well, I I used to get those boxes, and I'd start off by putting some on dab on my finger and or on my hand. Oh, no, no, <laughs> no, and I, and I got to yours. No, I think it was the Bonoffi. I think. Uh, uh, yes, yes, it was the Bonoffi. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, and I tried that, and Tina and I both said, "Ah, oh, that's that one's good. That's nice." And trust me, we. I mean, they used to send like 40, 50 bottles in these boxes and we tried a lot. And yours, I think, was, I'm not blowing smoke up your whatnot now, yours was the, <laughs> was the only one that we actually ever followed up from those samples and got in contact with, ever. Oh, thank you very much. Well, I remember so, the phone call, I remember being uh, very nervous on the phone. What, to me? I remember you saying on the phone, you're like, Josh, I'm very fussy when it comes to liquids. Well, I am. So... <laughs> I'm going to give it a try now. I'm sitting there, though. <laughs> What's he going to say? Yeah, no, I am, and that's why Thanks, my juice, I, I've never really been known. Uh, Tina just said Benoff is one of her favourites, which it is. Um, <laughs> I've never been known as as having a wide range of e-liquid on the site, because whenever I've tried it, I thought, no, I'm not inflicting that on my customers. And, <laughs> and consequently, I've my range has been tiny, and yeah. now it's just lovely. I've got, you know, I've got um, two main ones, really, yourself and Manabush, and I'm happy with both those companies, those two companies, to to, to deal with, so it's brilliant. So there you go, enough of uh, me uh, cr- creeping around you. No, but it is, tr- is true. If it wasn't true, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it, would I? <laughs> so... Uh, Very much. What we thought we'd do tonight, people in chat, we thought we'd hopefully give away um what what do you want to do josh do you want to give away one two or three do three three I'll do three full ranges full range wow. and they can choose the salts or the short fills salts or short yeah nick salt there's a nick salt range as well <clears throat> so we thought we'd give away three so if we're doing three we better start now aren't we on the first yeah. one <laughs> and a hat and a t-shirt each Oh, right. Okay. Do Brilliant. That. What about Let's go that? all out, Mark. Sorry? Let's go all out. All out? Well, we are. <laughs> all guns are blazing here, aren't we? So I'm trying to think. Let's think. I'll tell you what. I've got a question, and you can pick the winner, Josh. That everyone in chat, if you were coming out with a brand new e liquid flavour, what would you call it? It doesn't have to be like the strawberry in it or anything else. Call it whatever you like. And we're looking for originality, and Josh is going to pick. You can see chat, can't you, Josh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can see Josh it. is going to pick out the, pick out the winner. What's the time now? It's just gone five to nine, so we'll give you sort of ten minutes for that one. Ten minutes, and then 
Well, I'll think, I'll think of something else. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, it's hard. It's a bit, I mean, something, I don't know, original. Like, I'm Gin is Mother's Ruin or something like that, isn't it? You know, it's, you go down any road with this one. It's so hard. I've actually got one in the works at the moment, Mark. Um, that will be... I'll tell you, but I'm, I can't promise it will, because I'm on version... Well, Rio took 36 attempts. 36, did it? 36 attempts to make Rio, and that was that was ridiculous. There's Rio for everyone. Ah. There you go. Here's, Already. Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, um, I'm going to try um, making a, a grape soda flow. So yeah. grape soda and ice cream. Grapes, right, you like your grape soda, don't you? Uh, yeah. yeah, we never brought out grape before, and grape is so... Yeah. You get it right, it's amazing. I mean, ruthless grape drank. I love it. Absolutely yeah. love it. There's one or two answers already. Pav, I hope that isn't an answer to the quiz. Free shit. <laughs> free shit. <laughs> I'm not calling a juice free shit. <laughs> oh, thanks, Ian. He's a top man, isn't he? No, you? we know what you mean. So we've got John Nash, Rose Fresh... Ooh. Um, Martin Horton. This is this. I'll put Martin's up on the screen so we can read it. This is Lush. Trouble is, it takes me a little while to take it off. So <laughs> James Burns. <laughs> Tina right. says, "Can she play?" Well, of course. I, I guess so. I guess of course. so. Yeah, of course she can, Tina. <laughs> uh, late night munchies. Nice, nice. Um, that's from Oxfordshire Vapes. Kieran, do you mean the name of the range or just the juice? Which I don't mind. Perhaps put a range and a juice if yeah. you if you've got a double like thing that you've got in your head. Um, but <laughs> I love that vibrating rabbit mess. <laughs> <laughs> For There's actually a, yeah. a slogan that um, Rachel came up with the other day. She said for the Jack, I don't, don't know if this is appropriate, Mark, but it's not that rude. Don't worry. She said you can actually have it as a slogan as the second best rabbit you'll ever have. Because <laughs> uh, the new range is going to be coming out in August time, mm. and this is nobody knows about this yet. So uh, Mark's followers is the first. It's going to be called Rachel Rabbit. Oh right. So it's almost a female spin, and definitely to keep my girlfriend happy. <laughs> That's Rachel Rabbit. But <laughs> it's a spin off on Jack Rabbit, and we sort of feel like there's not many feminine flavours out there. No. In my but... opinion, I mean, and you want to, it's like we said the other day about like, you know, the big, beefy mods and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Rachel doesn't like the big, well, big, big mods anyway. I don't think women are uh, catered for very well in this industry, full stop, to be honest. Um, which is not right. So we thought, mm. why not bring mainstream brand out there that is more targeted towards female vapors yeah k-pax that's another one although you might have copyright issues <laughs> uh, vibrating right yeah we've had that one uh andy fletcher true flavors true flavors, true flavors. oh interesting interesting yeah, mark that's an interesting one <laughs> but i'm the high in my face because well. i'm an awful liar and i know something so i'm not i'm gonna move on swiftly <laughs> From true flavors, <laughs> um, Red Rabbit Revenge, Choose Brews. <laughs> Pav has just said James for the win, vibrating rabbit. Well, that is a corker, James. To be fair, <laughs> how long have we got left? Seven minutes. Seven minutes for someone to choose a better one. Yeah, choose a better name than that. But there's some He's in the lead at the moment. I have to say, there's some good good names up there. My God, checkmate are taken. Okay, checkmate. We did. We have discussed the Alice in Wonderland sort of feel. We don't want to, because we actually were looking at that for Rachel Rabbit. There was going to be a whole story about how Jacks. We were going to say retired or died, but people sort of um, the, the the general feel of it was if you say they retired or died, then people start <clears throat> forgetting about Jack Rabbit. Yeah. Which we don't want to do. We want to bring out a separate rabbit together. And um, there's going to be a whole thing about how she opens up the liquid recipe book and falls down into like a wormhole of all different flavours and stuff. And then mm. we wanted to try being a little bit more original than uh, Rachel, well, than Alice in Wonderland, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. So it's not happening anymore, anyway, Mark, but there we are. 
Okay, Elixir Tried. Brew. There's an, uh, why have I heard of that in, anyway? Elixir Brew, have I heard it's of one similar? Like um, Midnight Delight, After Eight Custard. That's quite a good one, Curly Chew. I like that one. Ooh, After Eight Custard. <clears throat> I've made a few After Eight flavours. Mm. And um, I think the thing is, it's chocolate puts people off. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. Although a lot of the tobacco vapes have got... Um, Touch of it in. Yeah, touch of chocolate or coffee. Um, yeah. There's, yeah. There's a, and caramel. There's, there's quite a lot goes in, in into tobaccos. There's, if you want a um, one one guy, uh, Cotswold Vapor, Stuart his name is, and he may, he's also a friend of Martin's, um, he makes a flavour, a chocolate flavour, a chocolate milkshake. Right. I think it's called Foo Shake. And... Um, Honestly, it tastes exactly like a chocolate milkshake. Yeah. He, he is amazing at flavour development. Like, he's so impressive. And I said the flavour is insane. Just exactly like you would expect it to taste like. But it's one of those things. It's, you know, similar to like our white raspberry chocolate. I don't know what everybody else's thoughts are. But I seem to find I love it. But after an hour, hour and a half... Yeah, a little bit too much. I've had flavours like yeah. that. Yeah, that you think, oh, this is nice, and then, as yeah. you say, after a, after an hour or so, you just think, no, nah, I can't vote that anymore. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> Rabbit Queen, Lynn Smith, uh, Rose Fresh for the ladies. That's, oh God, <laughs> my head just went straight to Femme Fresh. Why was that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that one would sell, Mark. I, I think that would be a no-go. <laughs> Sorry, folks. That's just in my head. I don't know. Perhaps they advertise it too much on the telly. Go on, Ian. You're going to have to explain that one, mate. Sorry, I'm a little bit... It's late at night for me. You should the other bloke. What's that mean? I'm not with it. Chocolate is Marmite, but yeah, yeah. it is Marmite. Yeah, that's true. Definitely, definitely. Similar to tobacco, <clears throat> you know, they're quite, quite strong flavours. So we've only got a couple of minutes left. What's the front runner, do you think, Josh? Which one did you like the best out of those? I like the, the vibrating rabbit eating mess. That was awesome. Yeah, you like that so far, dude. So James and my namesake, James Burns. No relation, I can assure you. Yeah, I was going to ask that one in a minute, actually. Yeah. <laughs> All because the ladies lush. Yeah, that's good, John. Yeah, John Nash. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies lush. <laughs> So it's it's really hard when you're you know we've uh, Josh and I are sort of trying to come up with the the concentrates and mm. that's why in the end I decided to just go with what they were like you know rhubarb custard and just to say what they are rather than go down the you know the the other way of sort of like rose fresh or something for you know for because what is mm. that flavour and I just you know. It can work, but I think it's got to be done really well with a theme if you want to go down the, you know, that that way of naming them. What do you think, Josh? No, I, to I totally. I mean, that's where we sit. But it it's a it's a hard one as well because you get like um, I don't know. How many people know vape importers juices. They're um they're, they're good juices, um, but then they're so funky. Like you see it. I mean, they work quite closely with Bordeaux too, or did. And um, the flavours, the, the, sorry, the branding looks amazing. Yeah. You never know what flavour it is. And it doesn't even say it on the box or anything. So you end right. up buying one online. Yeah. Right, and go, oh, this is quite nice, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, that's... And then you go on to, you know, go on to Google, try finding it, find a flavour card somewhere, and you're like, oh, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's... Uh, it's hard, in, in, you know, as a, as a consumer... Yeah, that's a bit too I'm much hard work, I think, isn't it? you got to... Yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> mm. Straight straight away and Andy Fletcher what's wrong with true flavours Mark absolutely nothing Andy and all will be revealed in the time thank you <laughs> <laughs> yeah you are a bad liar Mark I've got to say <laughs> <laughs> oh dear something, something different. different so that time has arrived so the winner are you sticking with what you said? Yeah, I think so. I really like that. It's quite so let's easy. put him on the screen in, in highlight. James Burns, Vibrating Rabbit Mess. How are we going <laughs> to do this uh, for eating mess? Do you want them to uh, James to contact you by e email or to contact yeah, me? Yeah, you can do. Uh, that's fine. Or I don't know if you've got Instagram, um, James. It's 
or e- yeah, email to be fair, email info um, at jackrabbitvapes.co.uk. Info at jackrabbitvapes.co.uk. There you go. That's easy enough to to do. So it's up here somewhere. I've got a little giffy that I can put up, which I think <laughs> there will. Up Andy, we'll, he's really torn in you now, we'll, Mark. We'll give that for James. We'll give him a, his little thumbs up. I love my little squiggly thumb up. There you go. <laughs> You'll see that. Okay, I, like I like it a lot. It's bizarre. <laughs> so well done, everyone. There's some, there's some really good names there. Um, can't wait to try those new ones, James. Yeah, that's Tina. Uh, oh, we, Curly Chew, you just you know, we didn't read that one out, but he said Midnight Delight. Oh yeah, after eight cast. Yeah, we did have that one, didn't we? Yeah. Yep, yeah, sorry, it's me. I'm I'm behind chat again. Well done, me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm way behind. Look at that. Evening, Mike. We've got MF Vape. Um, welcome to the chat and channel. Okay, well, is there anything else? I was going to say to you, Josh, with your e what frustrates you with the whole process? Have you got any... Are you, do you get uptight? Oh, oh, very, very. Mark, look at the state of the mod. This is a uh, <laughs> no accident. <laughs> it's temper. No, I'm joking. No, you've got um. It's what's what I find very frustrating about mixing juice. Now, for all the DIYers out there, um, I find it very very frustrating when and this does happen regularly, especially with um pineapple from TPA is one of my is my nemesis of flavors because you mix something up like Rio is a prime example. We're starting up a Rio. Yeah. Just a bit of pineapple TPA, lovely flavour. First week, give it a go. This is perfect. Yeah. Like loving it. Week two, something something's not quite right. And then week three, that is a completely different, completely different flavour. And it's so frustrating when you go to mix it up and steep, because everyone seems to think that steeping always makes juice better. Mm. Now I think desserts, you know, that's a that's a given. Yeah. But fru- fruits do sometimes, certain ones, if you don't plan it out, that's why the development process takes so long, because you have to try it at regular intervals. And when you think you've cracked it, yeah. quite often you haven't. And you find out three, four weeks later on, it's a no-go, and you've got to start again. Yeah. That's yeah. why Rio took us about six, six months, seven months to actually release. Yeah. I think that would be my frustration as well, because it's actually just... I'll come back to that in a second. MF Vape, I don't. I think I sent you the link to his video. He did a nice um, review on our blackjack yes. concentrates, and that's Mike up there, MF Vape. And so <clears throat> I know Josh really? was pleased, Mike, and and he he did Bought. tell me to pass on his thanks. So I've done that now. So that's good. Well done, me. I remembered. <laughs> <laughs> Only like three months late, Mark. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, no better late than never. But it, it was it was a good review, you know, and it's it is hard to explain. I know when I did the concentrates, um, was it a review? More of a demonstration, and I've never been so sort of not confused, but in my head I was to to try and explain it to people in the most straightforward and easy manner yeah. that I could. You know, it it was the hardest one of the hardest videos I've had to make, but. Yeah. yeah, I think my frustration would be exactly the same as you in a way because you would. It's almost like you've got. We like things instant, don't we? So you mix a bit of this, mix a bit, yes. bit of that, bit of that, bit of that, and you think, oh, that's nice. That's it. We've got it, or we haven't got it, or whatever. But with e liquid, you mix it, you have to keep thorough records, and. Yeah, you, you then have to wait your two or three weeks. You try it week one, week two, and week three, but you wait have to wait your three weeks. And when it all ends up to nothing, you're back to the drawing board again. That very frustrating for me. Would, very frustrating. Yeah, would be the. And what you want to do is write it down in a pink notepad. That's in the shape <laughs> of a little heart. <laughs> Go to the, the way pub, to do it, Mark. Leave it there. <laughs> and lose it. <laughs> lose it. Yeah. Unbelievable. Straight in. <laughs> What's that nasty juice? You that dodgy pineapple. I think Ian, if I remember rightly, actually loves a bit of nasty juice, don't you, Ian? <laughs> uh, that's that Pav. Um, let's put that one up, Pav. Yeah. Pav on there, on his thumbnail, he looks really posh and, and prim and proper with his red tie and his suit. He's nothing like that in real life. Nothing <laughs> like that. <laughs> 
master of illusion. Yeah. It's not even my house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it does look like that sometimes, but <clears throat> dodgy pineapple had a couple of off after which. So yeah, is that I didn't re- actually realise that was much of a a thing that I th- I didn't think it would really get worse. I didn't think sometimes it doesn't get much better. But I yeah. didn't realise it, it can actually take a backward turn as well, so that's, that is interesting. No, I found that out the hard way, Mark. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Mike has just said that he still vapes it now. He, he liked the, the blackjack. Um, and, yeah, he was out of his comfort zone as well. <laughs> During the review. <laughs> well, he did it very well, to be fair, Mike. It was, uh, yeah, I thought it was really informative. Yeah, yeah. It, it was hard, and it's... Do people want to watch you sucking juice into a syringe? You know, so it's, yeah. it is a bit, you know. But, but when when we do it, like I've told you before, there's a um, we use some um, scales. We always do it on weight. Yeah, I obviously think, you don't have to. I've never done it with weight. I find it much easier. Do you? But yeah, definitely, because you literally put it out and then, especially with like your concentrates, for instance, you already got the nib on it, so you give it a little. Yeah. Until it goes up to where you want it to be, and you're just literally reading the scales. Yeah. And PG is and flavour concentrate is pretty much one for one in density. So yeah. Yeah. gram is about one mil. Uh, it's only VG, which is a little bit off. Yeah, yeah. Any good, you know, e-liquid calculator will tell you it straight away. So the reason I didn't really go down the scales route one is I've never done it that way, and two is that. I guess a lot of people at home may not have accurate scales to do it. Definitely. definitely. You, you know, you do. I did think about doing it with one of these. I think I said to you that one of these um, yeah. tubes. Um, but if but, you pour too much of one, you're trying to like play catch up and think, yeah, oh, now I need more of this and more of that. And You have got that. That is true. It gets a bit one, messy. One little trick, though, if you uh, found it out again, found it out the hard way. Uh, if you're using like a 30 mil bottle and you're um, filling up, if you overfill anything, uh, it, it, oh, which is the one that always gets overfilled. Sorry, you froze a bit there on me. If you overfill, oh sorry, if you overfill with VG, yeah, VG will always go to the bottom because it's much more dense. Right. So you just use a syringe, get it right down low, and oh, right. saturate our VG. Okay. Well, there you and go. It doesn't affect the ratios. That makes sense. That makes no perfect trick. sense. So what should, what should we have for giveaway? And we need to know as well, was it James? James Burns? Um, we need to know whether he wants, whether you want, James, the salts or the short fill range. And what size t-shirt you are, but you could put that on email. <laughs> <laughs> I won't embarrass you. <laughs> you go up to 2XXL or small. Yeah. Salt. FB. <laughs> yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> that's what size I am, Mark. FB. FB. <laughs> so what would we have as the second second question? Let's have a think. Oh, it's always a hard one. What about a slogan? What about a slogan? Oh. Yeah, go on. And what, what brand are you thinking of, Mark? Well, do you want to do it for yours? Or you can you, do it, yeah, yeah. Or do you want to do it for the concentrates, do you think? Do it for the concentrates, I reckon. You've probably got all your slogans already in your, yeah, we have got a few. your head, haven't you? So, uh, okay, let's do that. So for our concentrate range, which we're going to be adding to, think of a slogan for the whole range. At the minute, we've just got Nature Vape Concentrates. That's it. There is no more. So the world's your oyster. Let's hear a slogan. It's quarter past nine now. We'd better give that one till half past. Yeah, yeah, it's fine, yeah. yeah. Half nine, quarter of an hour. That'd be good. Well, it'd be interesting to know what people think would be a really good um, flavour to actually bring out. Because we are, we always struggle for new flavours. That is also true. I mean, the two that we've got in the on the back burner. One is the cherry bakewell, uh, which I. Yeah. That's just a for me. That's just a given. That's got to happen for me. Um, and the Vimto, which we're now on um, version two, aren't we? That um, yeah, your version two, my, my version. Yeah, your your version <laughs> seventy two, but my version two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, so and that will come as well. I think of Vimto. But if there's any other flavours out there that you think is is would be perfect for you, then tell us because that's the hardest thing. It, it's knowing. I know what I like. I mean, I this mango juice for me. I'm just <laughs> God. Am I on my third third mix now? And that's mouth to lung. So. You know, it take, bad takes ages. <laughs> so, you know, I'm loving that. But some people would try this mango and go, ugh, couldn't vape that. So, yeah, we've all got yeah. Different... I'm interested to see the uh, Oxford Vapor review because um, they are brutally honest. It always makes me a little bit nervous. <laughs> brutally honest, yeah. But you've got to give it, in my opinion, Mark, if you're scared to give it to a an honest reviewer, because there are reviewers out there that are... Um, a bit easier, to, more more easy to sway, I'd suggest. Right, yeah. Trying some of the juices that they've tried and yeah. uh, rated highly. You send it to like Oxford Vapors, for instance. They they're so brutally honest. I mean, the last review they did for us, I was sat in the room, right. and uh, yeah, a couple of tears came out, didn't they, Ian? <laughs> <laughs> so they weren't um, they weren't fans of uh, raspberry white. Well, oh, raspberry white cookie wasn't on the highest, but blueberry duffin. Sorry, blueberry duffin. Blueberry I think got duffin. six out of ten. Six for blue. Them. See, I've, we sell a lot of the, your blueberry. And people just, love that. Everybody's got different palates, Mark. Yeah, yeah. I think definitely goes back when you asked my question about what's the most frustrating part about making flavors. <laughs> is when you make a flavor, you think it is amazing. You bring it up to your other, you know, the board. So Rachel, Tor, and Carlo. Yeah. Pass it over to them, and like two of them, no, it's disgusting. Yeah. What? Yeah. And the internal argument is always fruits or desserts. Is I'm it? a desserty man. Yeah. They like fruits. Right. Well, me and Tara are desserty guys, but mm. I mean, that's what we're sort of mainly known for, aren't we? The desserts. Well, yeah, really. really. Um, but you're vaping the mango tonight. You're enjoying that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mango <Yeah>. custard. <laughs> it does. I'll tell you what, what I'm actually on at the moment is um, Joe's juice, rhubarb and custard. Right. Generally, pretty good actually. Quite so impressed with it. That's another one as well. Rhubarb custard. There are so many variants of that. Is it like a tart rhubarb, or is it you know, and yeah. and strawberry as well? Strawberry never ceases to amaze me. That some people like, like a wild strawberry. Some people like a candy type strawberry. And there are so many variants of strawberry in pe in people's head. There are, I think, yes. as well. Oh, definitely <clears throat> strawberry. <clears throat> is um, a hard one, very hard one to get, because there's so many different strawberry custards. Yeah. So, have we got chew, any yet? <laughs> chew. <laughs> Curly chew. <laughs> chew. Oh, dear. <laughs> Bunny juice. Uh, oh, James, sorry, guys, just been in the shower. I didn't realise I'd won. You won! <laughs> Just, <laughs> but we need well to know. We need to know, James, whether you want the short fill range or the salt range. Your t-shirt size, uh, in probably not in FB. Probably put it in XL or L or whatever. This one, what's this? Large, I think, isn't it? Large. I think so. Jack Rabbit vapes. Um, Should have said it was medium, Mark. <laughs> yeah, it's medium. <laughs> I can't remember Josh this medium or small I can't remember <laughs> yeah it's supposed to be a bit a bit loose around the middle yeah. <laughs> um, yeah and also James you need to contact Josh by email which was info at jackrabbitvapes.co.uk co.uk nice yeah right yeah or Instagram or Facebook wherever you like yeah. really and just say I'm James I won Give I. I'm on all of them. So Martin Horton, jumping good flavours. Um, yeah. You try what's that? John Nash, you tried Roger Rabbit, now try JRV JRV. Um, nice, nice. Yeah. Nature vapes as nature intended. That's yeah, I quite like that, but it's there's that's a rip off of someone else, isn't it? Um, um Is it simple? It's not a vape company. No, no, but it's a bit like we were trying to think of things along the lines of natural nature, and I think Rachel came up with, was it es Essence? Essential, yeah. Essential. 
essential. Yeah, essential. it was essential because, you know, we we thought we heard of that before in us, essential oils, isn't it? which I didn't yeah, really want to get. It's hard because if you go natural as well, people will then start thinking, you can't obviously, you don't want to say that they are completely natural flavourings because... I don't know if you know a lot about this, but natural flavourings are not great in e-liquids. Aren't they? No, because they ferment. That would make sense. And when sense. they ferment, yeah. they go a bit, they go funny, obviously. Yeah. And also really, really struggle to get through TPD with it because it changes. I'll just take a look at my email. Kieran has said that he would fancy a strawberry tart with... Whipped white chocolate cream. That sounds nice, doesn't it? It does. It does. I do think white chocolate is a nightmare. Yeah, right. James, I got your email. Just checked. Thank you. Oh, there you go. Well, Andy, I've got to put that on the screen because that's just a massive advert for me and I, I really appreciate what you said as well. I'm on my fourth mix of mango. I'm very fussy with e-juice and flavours. I love the mango and rhubarb. So, yeah, Andy has bought all the I think well he's definitely bought the rhubarb and the mango I'm not sure if he you didn't buy the blackjack he may have bought the strawberry as well I'm not sure but thanks Andy that means a lot what did you think about the rhubarb Andy if you did get go for that one out of curiosity juice that will make your jack rabbit <laughs> Jack your rabbit. That's what I was laughing about five minutes ago. Make about. you jack your rabbit. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Curly <laughs> juvie. Um, Something great. Yeah. Vaping that? smurf. Awesome. A thumping great vape. Yeah. A natural vape. Um, back to nature. Vape with great taste. Oh, yeah, it's fun that review, John. Oh, I was the Bonofia fun that was talking about the re live review. Did yeah. <laughs> it was a fun review, Ian. Well, was he drunk scary. that night? He's always drunk. <laughs> they, they love it. I watched the gate. I was like, was it Friday? They did a review on the gate um, RTA, and I was late home. I had to, yeah, I had to go and see someone. I was late home, and it, just as I got on to watch it, it was finished. It had just finished. I was. I was gutted, but never yeah, mind. Mean, These things happen. Thing. These things happen. Nature's juice, a thumping great vape. Uh, oh, James, is, did you say you got the email from James? Yes, you have. Yeah, yeah thank you, James. I will. Um, yeah, sort that out after this. Hmm. Good and well done, James. Congratulations. And thank you, Josh. For a change, normally I have to send the prizes out. So it's <laughs> happy days that you're doing it. Don't worry. <laughs> so let's give away more. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't got to do anything. Go for it. <laughs> so I think, have you still got um, strawberry coming out 10 mils at the moment, Mark? Haven't I got strawberry? You know our uh, 10 mil samples? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They're going out with the Kelpie. Uh, every time, yeah. I, I was quite taken back by the Kelpie, to be honest, that we started off with the Mandarin Cheesecake. Yes. Is that right? Giving that away. Um, and I can't remember how many bottles you sent me. I've got a feeling it was 250 or 300. 250. And, and they went just like wallop. And I had to contact you in a panic, didn't I? And so that we've run out. <laughs> Do we keep this Yeah, I remember. And, else. and and we're yeah we're now we're sending out the strawberry uh, free of charge and I think so we have noticed an increase in your uh, juice sales presumably people have tried it like it and the, which is what it's all about I'm not going to lie folks you know we're we're here to have fun and and discuss but we're also here to to make a, a living so it's yeah I like I really like Curly Chew's new. Um, the, uh, that's brilliant. Oh yes, I okay. like that. Let's put that on the screen. That's worth a worth it. You'll see what I mean by that when you watch it. If you watch the rerun, that puts these comments on the screen. That's it, Andy. So Andy sort of hit the nail on the head. What we were trying to do with the rhubarb is actually make it. Like I said, there's no, like Joe's juice rhubarb and custard, absolutely lovely. Much more custard than rhubarb. Mm. We've tried making ours. Well, as when we discussed for it, Mark, you know, you want it a bit more. Yeah, authentic rhubarb. I wanted the authentic rhubarb that tasted like 
you know, rhubarb taste, not not an yeah. imitation of, you know, so. But Curly Chew, I love that. Nature of Apes, time to concentrate. That's um, awesome. That's, that's I think put it on the label now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Curly Chew, I like that one. That'll take some beating. That's like dusty carpet, that'll take some beating. <laughs> <laughs> like it. Um, yeah, so rhubarb's like a tart taste of rhubarb to mine. Yeah, and it is. <clears throat> that's what we're trying to portray is a, a proper tart tasting rhubarb I've got that in something up here it's really hard to get it so that it's tart but not harsh yeah yeah. Oh, and that was um, difficult very difficult I've got it in this dripper oh my nemesis the dripper the RDA so let, let's discuss this <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's get rid of this elephant. I've, actually, well, we've still got another three minutes, but Curly Chew that'll take some beating in my book. So I think you've, uh, Ruby. Yeah, I like, yeah. So no one else has. I think everyone's given up now. It's like Curly Chew's. He's got it. He's in the <laughs> he's bag. <won> it. <laughs> Done. So, um, yeah, yeah the elephant in the room, Mark. Elephant in the room. Stock coil, stock coils. Oh, wow. I need to get. Josh likes stock coil tanks. I think it's got to be for hassle free, doesn't it? Well, you say that. I don't. I don't know whether it's even the hassle free part. I mean, I've spent hours trying to do it. I just can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to buy pre-made coils. So I've got a um, a goon RDA, and. Um, I'll use, like, I'll go, that's a, loads of guys, you know, in the town and that, that sell, that make their own coils. And I'll put them in, so quite often I'll get, like, alien alien coils. Yeah. Pick them in and uh, put my cotton through, and it will just taste absolutely disgusting. And it's even because, I mean, I've spoken to a couple of people about it, they say you even put in too much cotton or not enough cotton. Yeah. And either way, it cocks up the flavour. So when I'm testing, I go through... So many of these Falcon coils you would not believe. Yeah. I've got about 10 of these, and we just literally fill them up, change the coil in it, and get 10 of them, leave this open, and then all have a little go on it. Yeah. But it's much better on an RDA, obviously, because you do get a better flavour. Mm. There's yeah. no doubt about it. You, you do, and to me, I mean, the Falcon coils are pretty good, to be fair. I'm not going to sit here and knock them, because they are, they are a good coil. But a lot of the stock coil tanks i always call it the taste of china you get with the first bit of that you get yeah. this oh i don't know like it's been rinsed out in the river or something it's just like it's got this <laughs> tainted flavor that takes a bit you know it takes half a tank to get rid of yeah um Definitely. and I, I just think you know a, a nice good dripper i'll tell you what i'm gonna do you've given prizes away tonight when these arrive these new keys ones i'm gonna send you one free of charge oh see what you think and you spoil me mark literally i got it's got i will explain it all properly folks they are they are now been this is the prototype it's got nothing written on it but i could literally drip 60 drops of juice in here and i got no spit back it's it's got almost like a tea strainer design inside. But I better shut my mouth before Keys tell me off because <laughs> it's not been released yet. <laughs> well, I have to say I'm glad that Ian's messaging saying he's the same as me. So thanks for that. It makes me feel a little bit better because it's uh it is quite embarrassing being a uh, a juice manufacturer that cannot rewick an RDA. So I I tend to use this stuff. You tried this. The vape fly, firebolt, cotton. Yeah, I've got a pack over there in the corner. <laughs> and I've got, um, Still uh, sealed up? <laughs> I've got, a, I think, nasty cotton as well sent me a load. Right. That was the same, like the shoelace ones. And there was another company that I've got over there as well. I've just got packs and packs of coils <laughs> in the corner. Coils, I think sorry, as, as well, it depends what coil you use, whether you use a... a I mean, the older coils all seem to be two and a half millimeter in in a diameter, which I believe they should. Most tanks respond better to a three mil if you can. Right. Okay. Um, and the new like alien coils. It depends what metal you use. Whether you use you know canthal, stainless steel, Ni80. There's so many permutations there, and but something will suit you. Yeah. Um, 
and you know you I mean the game is quite straightforward I, I, oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the tank, Mark. No. <laughs> I think it's user error. User <laughs> error. But, you know, just a sliding fit. Anyway, we'll get there. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll coil and wick the first one, and you can follow my lead. How's that? So I'd give my uh, grape soda a try. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's in, isn't it? Um, Oxford, you're yeah. Right. yeah. So it, stock coils as well, that does surprise me. It does. There's, I think there's more people using stock coils than I actually probably realise because my site has always been re more rebuildable than anything else. And it's uh, Yeah, so it's a hard one because, um, like you said, it's ease. And when you drive in and stuff, you know, I saw someone have a slogan that um, says, don't drip and drive. It's don't quite drip like that. and drive, yeah. Don't drip, drive, drip and drive in and all that. But... I, I've seen I've seen before um, one of my friends has got one in his car. It's actually you put your e-liquid in almost like so you turn it upside down. Like an optic. Like an optic. Yeah. And when you're driving along, you just. <laughs> it's genius. <laughs> so what an awesome invention. <laughs> Cotton gods. Yeah. Now I think that's what I've actually got. Is that um? Yeah. Is it like a gold um foil sort of packet, Ian? Because that's the one that I've got, and yeah, it literally just. Yeah, like Sam has to build and rewick my drippers. Um, yeah, I see Sam quite a lot at the moment <laughs> when I've got new flavours coming out. <laughs> Sam, can I borrow you for an hour? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, well, it's horses for courses, but you know, I, I mean, I'm going to guess as well. If you're developing your flavours, a lot of that, I don't know what the mix. It'd be interesting to know, wouldn't it? What of your customer base, how many people are stock coils and how many are rebuildables? But yeah, it would be it would be very interesting. It'd be nice well, to know, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. definitely. But I, mean, I, I I'm a I don't vape stock coil. I don't think I've got one on the. I've got a pod, um, but other than that, I haven't got one on the table. Everything is rebuildable. So, but I can I can assure you, your your juice tastes very good. <laughs> Have a rebuildable. <laughs> I'll take one thing, uh, strawberry. That's one that's interesting with strawberry. If you kick it out, obviously I'm just going by a falcon, but if yeah. you kick it out like 60 watts, it's it's okay. Mm. If you go up to like 80 watts or you really hammer it in a dripper, the yeah. flavour is like completely different. Yeah. Like completely another level of flavour. So like I said you cannot beat an RDA. There's no doubt about it. I'm just yeah. cock Yeah. <laughs> Can't yeah. do it. Yeah. Well, I haven't got this RDA up. Up high, what's it on? I'm on this uh, smock thing. What's well, on 60 watts? This, how do you unlock this thing? Here <laughs> we go. There's a short one. delay, folks. <laughs> God, I've got the thing turned off now. Ah, there you go, unlocked. So let's whack this up to 80. I don't usually vape that high, to be honest. Had I better make sure I've actually got some rhubarb in here <laughs> yeah, don't just put the straight concentrate in Mark no but what I don't want is a dry hit <laughs> oh and start coughing on <laughs> there's 20 do that'll do cause, huh? I promise I won't laugh yeah I know there's um, I know there's some in there so another 20 will will do that fine so we'll give that a second to to just soak up Um Vape and Smurf, mixing up something special. The nature vape. Right, let's have a go at this. Oh, what's it got here? Temperature, I don't want TI. Sorry, folks. Let's get it off <laughs> TI. How did it go on that? Uh, that was definitely a massive flop, wasn't it? The whole temperature control. Mode. Wattage, that's what we want. Right. What else I was going to do? 80. Yeah. It's on 78 now. So, right, it's on 80. 0.18 ohm coil. A little bit of uh, juice come back there. Obviously, there's more in there than I thought, but yeah, no, it does taste different. And that's the that's the rhubarb. Oh, the rhubarb at 80. Wow. <laughs> you look actually impressed yourself now, Mark. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Yum 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 yum. <laughs> and yeah, it's changed that rhubarb. 
Completely. Still got get out. Still got vapor coming out. Um <laughs> Awesome flavour. No, it's normal for Norfolk. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Matt, well done, Matt Benson. So the winner, are you deciding this this winner as well, Josh? I think you should. You're sending them out. I know which one it was, and I'll find him again. Uh, let's go back. There. Such a tiny little screen. It was Curly Chew. Nature vape, time to concentrate, wasn't it? That's it, yeah, 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 that was awesome. So let's put him back on the screen. Curly Chew, the winner. You want a job, Curly Chew? <laughs> so, yeah, you have a job, yeah, yeah, well done. And uh, again, if you can email Josh at info at jackrabbitvapes.co.uk, I didn't even need a prompt that time, and your t shirt size, summer's coming. And if you want short fills or salt, yes. God, it still tastes that rhubarb. Well, that's interesting, is that? That's I can't say that. That's Fidel. No uh, temperature control. I was just saying about how whenever when that uh, temperature control came out, everyone was raving about it, and then it seemed to die off very quickly. But it, people were still using it. Yeah, this some people are still using it. Um, some master lungers are using it as well. And yes, it does save you a dry hit. Personally, for me. I don't get on that well with it. I prefer not to use it. Just wattage mode for me. I quite like the. I quite like Canthal. I'm going through another Canthal phase at the minute. I went Canthal, stainless steel, NI80, and I'm now back to Canthal. Partly because I think NI80, I might have a slight intolerance to it. Uh, a bit like wearing a chrome watch. Do you know what I mean? You get a little bit of like a, a skin um, blemish or whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> so I've gone back to Canthal. What I like about Canthal is like that power band that you press a button, it is a slower ramp up. And a bit like if you think about when you were smoking, you were drawing off a cigarette and you got not much to start with. And as you went, you thought, yep, yeah, and I've had enough now, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Canthal is very similar. It's got that, like, power, I call it power band, make it sound like yeah. a Yamaha, but. <laughs> I know what I mean. <laughs> oh, I know what you're saying. And woohoo, great thing. Yeah, you're welcome, Curly Chew. Well done. That was good. Um, let's put that comment up. Asford, Asford, Asfordell, Asford, Asford Hell, Asford Hell. Is that uh, sometimes there's a word in these names and you uh, you miss it, but I don't think. <laughs> there is. Uh, I only started vaping 13 months ago. It's mostly to have a fast ramp up without having a burning vape yeah. since that's the opposite end to what i've just said and some people do like that they like a, a quick bang and an and instant hit yeah. and that would be more sort of stainless steel i would guess um would suit suit him better than than cancel yeah so, i wonder what that was as a car just drove past your house wouldn't it <laughs> oh yeah it's boy racers <laughs> <laughs> um, Matt Benson let's put that one up as well Matt use it all the time mouth to lung hate the way the vape heats up on wattage after a few hits oh is, is that for oh right that would be for temp control so yeah well there you go and if we were all the same we'd all be vaping the same thing so I think it's it'd be boring it'd be boring if we were all the same yeah there are some things that I've seen reviewed and I've thought how could you not like that? I've also seen other things reviewed. And thought, how could you like that? You know, so, you know, assuming those reviews are, are correct and they've done it honourably, you know, it just shows that all uh, everyone is different. Yeah, oh, definitely. 100%. Uh, Coil UK, hi, Coil UK. And all in chat, he says. Um, yeah, there you go. He is big, fat stainless steel homemade coils. There you go. I was right then. He was is on his stainless steel, <laughs> so he'll get his instant ramp up, bang, <laughs> straight up. And yeah, yeah. Fair enough. and if that's what you like, that's that's great. So, did we have many suggestions for a for a flavour that people would like, or did I just miss them? Um, I, I don't know if we actually asked it properly in the end. Didn't we? 
No, we sort of avoided, well, not avoided it, but we jumped in with two well, questions. Well, shall we make that our third and final question? I think question so. Then. That's what I was going to suggest. And, and have that as a, your, the, the not necessarily the most inventive answer, I wouldn't have thought with this, pro- but no. probably the most, the one that would pique Josh's interest the most. I hadn't thought of that as a flavour. That would be nice. So perhaps your... Your idea of a flavour that you think would be fantastic for an e-liquid. Yeah. We do have quite a few. So we're always, we're always tinkering around with different flavours. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm struggling. One time we were looking at a, um, a Bailey's ice cream. Oh, we? Different, yeah. Mm. But um, that could be in the works, so to speak. Right, okay. And did I hear somewhere that a lot of people are putting coconut in flavours now it seems to be like a balancer or something well we use it in rio um, right. but nobody seems to notice but that's deliberately like you said as a uh, as a balancer it sort of comes through and changes it a little bit but there is um quite a few flavour concentrates that you would never expect i mean like strawberries actually got dragon fruit inside it right yeah so everyone's like you know it's a straight strawberry and that's what it's sort of known for it's just strawberry yeah. It's got dragon fruit in it, it's got raspberry in it, it's got a touch of cactus. Right, cactus. Cactus actually okay. in, increases like mouthfeel, it gives you like the wet mouth sort of feel, and that sounds stupid, but um, it definitely um, sort of curves the flavour around to, uh, yeah, give you a bit more of a, a wet mouth <laughs> yeah. rather than a dry vape. Especially with grape, because grapes are a very difficult one to, to hit. You, um, it normally comes out quite dry. Yes, yeah, yeah, it very does. Good. Which one's that, Tina? Do you like that the Bailey's ice cream? Oh, I like so. Yeah, that would be Bailey's. <laughs> <laughs> That's a girly thing, you see. The, the, the girls, especially imagine that at Christmas. That'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Granny Smith apple. <clears throat> nice and sharp. Okay. I think apple is quite difficult as well, isn't it? There's so many different Very apples difficult. and. Very difficult. Um. So Riot Squad have got quite a good um, apple. I think it's called Smashed Apple Pie. Mm. Quite, quite a good apple inside there. Do I do appreciate that. Right. Uh, um, Ashfordell, I was just reading, he said he's turned down mods before purchasing a mod because the there's no temp control. Yeah, you're quite right. The Niagara, um, that didn't. That was just a straight wattage squonker. It's a, I, I did have one around there somewhere. Yeah. They were they were a good squonker. They were sort of ahead of their time, really, in a way. They, they, there wasn't much like them, um, but they were just a straight wattage. You know, that's all you could do. There was nothing else on there. So, Asphodel, do you prefer DNA chips or Yee There's your question. Um, I know which one I prefer. Uh, I love a grape. E-liquid, but a sour one is that's Sabrain. that's Rob, UK vapester. Interesting. So I normally go for the American sort of style, like you know the Fanta grape drinks. Right. Yeah. That's the one I really want to replicate. Right. And if, you, if you go into um, like TGI Fridays and ask for a grape soda flow, that is what I want to replicate. It tastes amazing. Well, see you later, Ian. I'm, I'm going to put this one on the screen and read it out. Name and shame that man, the vaping Scotsman. <laughs> He'd like a good mango <laughs> because they're all crap. <laughs> 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 Apart from the pod salt <laughs> mango ice. Have you tried this, though? <laughs> <laughs> vaping Scotsman. One of my concentrates is a mango. and Well... One I used to love was Screamo Mango by uh, Monster Vape. Yeah. That was lush. Monster but, Vape, that's got like the drippy bottles in it. They look, is yeah. that right? Yeah. 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 But it's not, um, they're not great for coils. Right. It's, um, is, uh, yeah. That sounds that, nice. Well, he's a dripper, funny enough. Lynn Smith, Blackberry Delight. That sounds a nice one. It does. I always fancy Blackberry, but whenever I try it, it's always quite harsh. Um, again you've got to put in cactus in it right. <laughs> you've got to use cactus in blackberry mm. blackberry so a bit of cactus inside it it's been inside the, the Vimto flavour it's got blackberry in there obviously and Ian is off cheers Ian thanks for dropping by 
Ox Oxfordshire Vapors. Um, if you haven't checked him out, he does a he's got a Facebook uh, group, does live reviews. He's uh, doing your concentrates next week. Oh, is he? Always worth a watch, especially now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll let you watch it. We'll, let, um, we'll watch it first, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thumbs up has just come in. How many people have we got in chat? 31, 15 thumbs up. Come on, guys, you can do better than that. <laughs> uh, MF, yeah, oh, that sounds nice. Oh, I like the sound of that, Mike. Black currant, raspberry, and lime. Oh, that's a good one. I'm going to make a note. <laughs> that does sound good. Yeah. That sounds, very nice. that, sounds, that sounds like it would be nice. Um, another one we're trying to work on. We're, we're, we are releasing, we're releasing three flavours, I said by August. Right. And we've got one confirmed, which is a, uh, a mango, orange, and passion fruit. Yeah. Which is a bit different. Um, and the other ones we're trying, I said grape soda float, obviously. Um, and the last one, oh, interestingly, John Nash, it is actually on ice. <laughs> it's going to be, um, it won't be crazy cool. It'll be similar to Rio, is what we're, we're going with, that, that sort of cool to it. Um, and the other flavour is white grape, lime, and kiwi. That, that does sound that, nice, that. It does sound it's nice. It's different. It's a very hard one to nail. We're uh, we're struggling, hence why I sort of wanted to keep it a little bit back. Right. And I've had my question answered <laughs> by Ashfordell. I've yet to try a DNA chip, actually. I don't like the Yeehee in my Y-Sticking VK530. So far, I'm really happy with the temp control and an E-Leaf flashed with Arctic Fox custom firmware. Well, that wasn't the answer I was expecting, to be honest. But I, I understand the answer. Fully, and I'll, I'll give you that one. Uh, the Yeehe chip and the V-sticking, I don't like that either. But I do like the Yeehe chip. I've got the Yeehe chip in this Y-stick, um, which admittedly has only got a mouth-to-lung tank in it. That's an odd shape, isn't it, Josh? It is a bit, yeah. Does it fit in the hand all right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, th the fire button, God, I'm getting in the muddle, it is up the top. So as you grip it, your thumb mm. goes on the... Interesting. Mm. Yeah. But that chip, that's different. But with the uh, V sticking, it's got like this joystick, and yeah, I'll I'll give you that. I don't like that bit either. Right, <laughs> like I'm, miss, I'm about the cactus. I'm missing some <laughs> of these flavors here, uh, so I'll better recap. Um, Andy Fletcher, what's that? Tangtastics Haribo sweets, nice and sour. Sour is so hard because it always comes through um, as harsh. Every time I've tried it, it's come through as harsh, but I'm um, not the mixer I think I am, Mark. Sorry? <laughs> I said every time I have, um, I use sour, it always comes out harsh. Oh, does that? Uh, maybe I'm not the uh, the mixer I thought I was. Ooh, <laughs> I'm sure you are. Uh, Matt Benson, berries, aniseed, menthol, grape, eucalyptus, aka red astare is my all day vape. That is a, yeah, yeah, you can't, can't knock that. A lot a of people one. went mad for, for Red Astaire, don't they? You don't hear quite so much about it anymore. Yeah. But. No, you don't. There's Red Astaire, and then you had the um, um, Heisenberg, Vampire Vapes. Yeah. Sort of in a similar sort of league, weren't they? Where yeah, yeah. Everyone went mad. It, 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 personally, I think 90% of people that I know started on one of the two. Right, and then they moved on to other stuff as they got as they got further into it. Well, I started. I mean, I've been vaping a lot of years, but I start. I had to have menthol in my, in my or ice mint or whatever, in, in my vape to give me like that throat hit I yeah. needed. That that's what I had, and I had in those days. I'm trying to remember the name of the company. Feel Life. It was a Chinese e liquid company. It wasn't actually that bad for. For a Chinese e-liquid, it was all right. Um, and I used to put about two-thirds raspberry. <laughs> it was just raspberry, nothing else, nothing fancy. And a third of this ice mint. And that was what oh, I must have vaped that for nearly a year. Really? And, yeah, and slowly I came down with the ice mint and more raspberry. And then it got to be 
too much raspberry and I didn't like mint anymore because it was it I just over minted and <laughs> I tried uh, some custard what was the custard at that time um oh the custard. custard it was a custard some custard and I I tried it and I thought oh no I don't like that but now as time has gone on I've gone more to I mean I still love my fruits so I'm probably more fruits than anything yeah. Um, but I still like sometimes a, a custard and a nice like a strawberry or a raspberry custard or, you know, hen, hence I guess where, <laughs> where, where, my where, con- come from? where my concentrates <laughs> have come from. Oh, it's probably a bit self-indulgent in a way, but I just, it's hard, isn't it? I mean, it, you have to try and think what I like, hopefully other people will also, a percentage of other people will also like but we're talking about Ast- Astafel as well, or however you say it, Asphodel. Yeah, um, some crazy mental crystal stuff. I think he's referring to um, WS23, which is like the Malaysian mental. Oh, talk. right, yeah, I know. Yeah, it's just cool harder at 30%. Yeah, just so everybody knows. And Mike Another trade he's... secret. Mike thinks he's got to get himself some cactus. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, right. yeah, Josh is telling trade secrets, get me a pen, cactus. <laughs> oh, Only little amount. <laughs> that's, that's the nice thing as well, though, Josh. You are you are an open person, and I think... Oh, right. totally, yeah. You I mean, have been with me on the phone. It, you know, you've always told me the truth, which, you know... Is, I don't mind. It's not always the case in this industry. <laughs> Uh, I tried it from Vape Superstore, then made my own using, I guess, oh, is that Dark Star it should be? I think it's just put Dark Star. Mike, your spelling's awful. Come on, sharpen up. <laughs> 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 what is it you tried, sorry? <clears throat> You're talking about, uh, um, oh, Screamo Mango. I think you might be talking about the, um, uh, the flavour that he came up with earlier with the lime and the um, black, oh, black right, okay, yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a viewer, Asphodel, a viewer, oh, here we go. You you see, you're ahead of me. I, I'm awful on chat. A viewer made a menthol concentrate, <laughs> a menthol crystal, yeah. <laughs> so that was brutal. Um, and that, that's the other thing that I've done when I've had a cold. I've gone to the chemist and bought menthol crystals and just dropped it in the tank just as in crystal form. Oh. oh yeah, and it's it is uh, quite clear as you know, but it works. You need um, what's the flavour called? A, t- a breaking vape by Bordeaux Two. You ever tried that? I haven't. No. It feels like your lungs are going to explode. It is, is so it? cold. It is unbelievable, but it's lovely for some reason. But you can't have it any more than oh, even even oh, I was in a Falcon at the time. It was a uh, a G Priv, hence the TFE Eight. Uh, the tank, TFV8, right. yeah, yeah. what it was yeah. called. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it was like, I'd say it was like 30 watts or something stupid because you just couldn't go any higher because mm. it felt like your lungs were going to blow up. <laughs> but, yeah, don't have a cold. <laughs> have one, one go on it, that's it. Well, go it on. worked for me, honestly. I got a cold and I thought, this is really clearing me out. It's working well, so... Yeah. That's all. Uh, curly Chew, orange, pineapple and passion fruit. Nice, nice. Um... Oh, look at that. Matt Benson. Go by the die code, Steve, but perfect temperature control. Matt, I, that's what I want. I do want one of these die codes mods. And that, uh, they're, are you familiar with them, Josh, or not? No, they're, no. I think they're uh, German or Swiss. Um, but they're oh, gorgeous, gorgeous mods. But, yeah, I can't quite force myself to pay the money. Uh, the trouble is, I've got so much stuff here. Do I need another mod? <laughs> you know, no, I don't, because I've got so many. But I've just, I, I will buy one one day, because I do fancy it. Tina's not in chat still, is she? Yes, booger. <laughs> 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 I just said her name, she's in there. Um, no, it was good stuff about open mic, but yeah, that, well, there you go, seeing Asphodel has said that his vape budget isn't as high as that. They are expensive. Oh, Martin Horton, that's not a bad call. Look, have you ever tried a flavour like that, Josh? Sherbet licorice. 
Ooh, no. Oh, that does sound interesting. It is an interesting one. I don't know how you get the sherbet. The sherbet's more like a um, sort of tangy sugar, isn't it, effectively? Yeah, yeah. But it's... Remember the... I mean, I'm significantly older than you, but... <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember? They used to have these... Um, uh, the Bassets, I think. The yellow tube with the licorice on top. And you dipped Dip it that. in your... You don't, yeah, you, don't, you know the one I mean. You yeah. dipped it in and ate it. My so, dad used to have it, I think. <laughs> No, I'm joking. <laughs> sure, well, you could have said granddad, so I suppose it could have been worse. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did used to have them as a kid. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, well, there you go. Mike was the same look, same, same as at first, Mark. Now I hate menthol. So Mike yeah. obviously did the same. And I think when you do very first stop, you do need something to give you that throat hit, don't you? I did. Um, which is probably why people went for that Heisenberg, isn't it, a lot. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, almost 100%. Yeah. <coughs> oh, Chris Scotsman still uses Heisenberg. There you go. Oh, Tina was off. Bye, everyone. Bye, Tina. Um, <laughs> clock where about you are maybe, in this maybe, chat, Mark. Am I miles off? A little bit. Am I um, Never mind, I'm getting there. I'm getting <laughs> there. I'm, ju I'm just reading. I don't want to miss a flavour. There you go. John Nash, Black Velvet on Ice. What's Black Velvet? I don't know. Licorice again. No, all right, fair enough. I don't. Uh, Andy Fletcher, I don't like mints, cool ardor, nicotine, or tobacco. Nicotine? Ah, zero, zero MG vapor. Zero. No, ah, it's interesting. It's what I want to know then. That was, that was Andy, wasn't it? Yeah. Andy, when you buy a short fill, which I assume you buy a short fill, do you add PGVG to it, or do you just vape it as it is? Because. With ours, for instance, we actually make it as if it's going to be a 60 mil and just remove the nicotine shot effectively. So if you vape it without a nick shot or add in PGVG, it is going to be a lot stronger in concentrate, which sometimes does make things a bit um, harsh, hmm. interestingly enough. And to answer, about 30%. to answer your question earlier, uh, Mike MF, the, he was talking about the black currant raspberry and yeah. lime. Uh, and it was Dark Star he used to make his own instead. And uh, well done for spelling Dark Star correctly. No, I'm not going to go down that road. I'll just tease <laughs> Mike. Sometimes it's fun to tease Mike, especially when he can't answer you back. <laughs> um, but, but he's curious to put some cactus in it now. Uh, do you think that would, would work? 0.25. That's what you want. Don't go more than 0.25. You go more than that, the flavour comes through and it's bloody horrible. It tastes like grass. So try, it, Mike. Two... try it with a little and be interesting. Uh, I mean, Mike and I talk periodically and it's, you know, he'll, he will tell me. Um, yeah. But uh, I do like the sound of his flavour. That does sound good. Definitely. I'll give it a go. Yeah. I'll give it a go. Dave Watson, uh, vanilla custard. <laughs> I assume, I assume that's custard what you've got. Like oh. I've got one um, that we made when we not when we first started, but six months in. So it's been steeping for a good a good two years. Mm. I've actually got it over there if you want to have a laugh. Oh, God. I think it's I just think it's as black as a black thing, isn't it? You right there. <laughs> uh, one of my favourite elixirs is Nana Cream by. Oh right, well that's that's interesting. Um, yeah, I'm going to come to that, Lynn. I'm going to put your comment. Look the colour of that. Oh my word, it is dark. I knew it was going to be dark. That's two years that it's vanilla custard, full of um, diacetol. Right. So I'm not allowed to sell it. <laughs> but, um, it's got a mixture of uh, TPA uh, V1. Well, not V1, it's called um, before the DX version, basically. Right. Capella right. V1. Some Capella V2 custard as well. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, oh, flavour arts. Because uh, Aspidel has again has said that he's not he's disappointed with uh, Capella's uh, vanilla custard version too. too. It was yeah, it was definitely a flop. Completely yeah. Agree. Yeah, but the version one, I think they had to get rid of, didn't they? Uh, yeah, diacetyl yeah, again. Yeah. Um, this is a, a good point, Lynn Smith. Uh, one of my favourite e-liquids is Nana Cream by Sleek It, but they're shutting shop. I heard from someone else at Sleek It have now finished. He's going to move to or work in Turkey, I think, or something. I might have got that wrong. Oh, uh, okay. 
But yeah, I, I did hear that he'd um, shut up shop and yeah, I, I've never tried his juice, but it's, it's interesting that, um, in fact, I, I will say it, both my spanners, <laughs> Daniel vapes sleek it juice as well. So how bizarre is that? So, never heard of them. And Simon Bridgewood, sarsaparilla, vanilla, caramel, licorice, winter green. What's winter green? What's sarsaparilla? <laughs> sarsaparilla. <laughs> yeah, what's that? I don't know. I've heard of it, but I don't know what it oh. is. I thought you knew, and I was being stupid then. No, no, no. I'll take the I'll take the dumb badge every day. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What, what is, I've heard of sarsaparilla. What is sarsaparilla? Sounds like a wine to me. Like Lambrini sort of thing, I'd imagine. As a guess. Uh, Matt Benson says, uh, "Do fizz vapes actually have anything special in them?" Is he talking oh, about sort of like lemonade? Yeah, you can get um there's like fizz base. I think um vapor will do it like fizz I think they call it fizzology. Right. Uh, I person I've tried I've tried several different um fizz bases. To me, I, I I do think it's inside your head. So I think if someone says to you, This is so fizzy, you wait until you try it and you try it and you think, Oh, it does taste a little bit fizzy. But I don't actually think it does. I do think it's inside your head. The only right. one I haven't noticed that does something is um, champagne. Champagne flavour. I'm pretty sure it's TPA. Right. And that's interesting. That does, um, again, For those of you that don't like know, TPA is term. the flavours apprentice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry, yeah. See, the perfumer's apprentice. Oh, sorry, the perfumer. So, I told you I'd take it's the dumb It's only the um, yeah. perfumer's apprentice in the UK, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Or the other way around. Uh, Slowberry Ice. There's another one. Oh, Andy's come back saying he adds VG. That makes sense. Right. Oh, that's uh, good right. if you do that. Yeah. Zero, Zero Nick. Nick for two but, years. Vaping for I five. do think that nicotine, though, in like Bonoffi Pie, for instance, if you add nicotine to it, it, it completely changes the flavour. I tried it. I tried to make Bonoffi Pie a nine milligram strength to vape in the mouth oh. to lung, and it didn't work. No, no good. No. Not for me. I didn't. Uh, I didn't. Oh, it didn't work for me. But zero mg Bonoffi, I, I don't think it's anywhere near as good as three. Sarsaparilla is a soft drink like root beer. Ah, there you are, look. But yeah, I do think um, so having the uh, adding your your nick shot to um, Bonoffi makes a big difference. But I would challenge anybody to be able to. Not many people can do this. But leave it for two months with a nick shot in it. What's that? Two the months. unbelievable. What Bonoffi? Yeah. You just mix what with as a three milligram? You mean? Yeah. yeah. You mix in nicotine in it and leave it yeah. somewhere dark. Yeah. For about, honestly, two months. Oh, we we leave it for at least two months before we sell it anyway. Right. And that's a zero just mm. for steeping. I know steeping. Obviously, they're steeping and they're steeping with nicotine. They're yeah. two different things. Yeah. yeah. But doesn't matter. If you have one straight off the bat, I mean, interestingly, in Germany, the biggest thing in Germany is called Aroma Shots. Oh, right. And you get a 60 mil bottle, but they've heard this before. Go on, educate me. So you end up with 60 mil bottle, 15 mil of concentrate inside it, and that's it. They add their own. Oh, I have, I have seen that. Yeah, yeah, I have seen it's that. Art. I yeah. can't understand yeah. why you'd want it ready inside the bottle, but just what they like. That is a bit and, odd, isn't it? Yeah, because like, especially with Bonoffi, it's got such a long steep time on it. Mm. There's no way somebody's going to buy a bottle yeah. and then put it all in and leave it for two months. Yeah, yeah. Which is not going to happen. So so I normally go to 10 o'clock and we've gone past that, but we haven't found a winner of this flavour. <laughs> oh, no, no, oh, I have one I really liked. Um, oh, sorry, you've got to see my face so close up, guys. That's all right. We'll see uh, I really like the black currant raspberry and lime. That was Mike's one at MF. That's brilliant. So Does he really want one? No, he hasn't, has he? Has he what? Has he won he one? hasn't won one already, has no, he? No, no, no. No, Mike hasn't. But he is a reviewer. But, oh, Mike, how could you? But it is the flavour that you've... I've already told him I can give him something anyway, though. <laughs> I want to see his review on it. Oh, have you? 
I don't know if he's tried um tried us already. Um, who else have we got? Oh, so there's some good ones on here. It's a passion fruit on ice. That sounds awesome. See berries, aniseed, menthol, and grape, and eucalyptus. It's red as stare. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. you said. Yeah, so it's already been. You can't. I wouldn't think you can really, really. So, um, why don't you choose one, Mark? The, well, there's one. A late, a late, late arrival here is dandelion and burdock. Burdock. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think someone else did that. Didn't? Did they do it? Was it Simple Vapes? Did a? They did a dandelion and something. Didn't, or was it an elder flower? I can't remember. There's a few elder. I know botanics by um, Own Boy. I've got quite a few. Um, well, botanical ranges, and they do that sort of stuff. It's really good juice, actually. And I, I knew Kieran would know what sarsaparilla was. So he, Kieran's a chef. So, so oh, MFA, so he doesn't review juice. Well, he, I don't review. Yeah, well, he did. He reviewed the concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I guess what he's saying is he doesn't review it. I mean, that's, I'm happy if you if that was your flavour. I'm happy for you to go go with that if that's what you thought was the that's was what your I top, like the sound of top flavour. Um, yeah, if I want to go, let Kieran do that. He's the man. There you go. He's talking about Kieran, and yeah, K- Kieran's juice reviews are are very good. I like Kieran's juice reviews. Yeah, send them out. Um, I can't see another flavour that I remembered now. That I thought was good. There was one. Was it the blackberry one? Yeah. What was that? Black, blackberry, blackberry, and something. Can't find it now. I think that was Lynn, wasn't it? Oh, blackberry delight. Um, that that would possibly be my, if I had to go for a second one. Yeah. But up up to you. Up to you. You you're in charge. Oh, Matt has just come up with corker. Was that what he said? What? Raspberry, raspberry lime, lime, orange, orange menthol. Oh! Can we split? Can we do one for Matt, one for MF? Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, go on it. Go on it. I like both of them. <laughs> oh! Poorly. Raspberry lime, orange, and menthol. <laughs> oh, that is a that is a corker. Ras- I think I might fancy that actually. Raspberry lime, orange, and menthol. I bet that. Well, be- concentrate, Mark. It would depend on the orange, I think, on that one. Um, <laughs> Bring out as a new concentrate. If you want to send send it to him. So I you know, Matt? Sorry? I just lost you for like five seconds. Oh, did you? Well, that's yeah, not, always a, bad, that's not always a bad thing, is it? <laughs> you might have seen me, like, uh, frantically panicking what's happened because I've never used Skype before. Yeah, no, it could be, could be mine. It tends to do that. All right, well, fantastic. That's been a, a different show tonight, and, and it's nice to have a variation. We, I always seem to have another reviewer on, and um, apologies as well, actually. I didn't mention this earlier in the show. Apologies for last week. I was physically knackered last week, and I just... I had a guest lined up. He let me down, and I thought, oh, do you know what? I can't. It's too late in the day now, and I'm too tired to... To think so we didn't have a show last week but that was the exception but it's been lovely to have you tonight josh thank you um no worries all. thanks for having me mark not well, too daunting i hope this is, this is your first live isn't it not not too daunting for you <laughs> <laughs> definitely uh yeah, definitely it's a bit scary <clears throat> yeah, it's all good all good so yeah josh if you'd like to say your goodbyes uh, and then i'll i'll finish up because we've run over 10 minutes <laughs> yeah, thank you very much guys do appreciate it and um yeah always feel free to drop me a message or any suggestions or anything you're interested in and um or any help with diy stuff i'm more than happy happy to uh, help people out no worries at all super yeah no thank you as i say josh it's you've been a great guest it's just interesting to hear like from an expert really about what juice is all about and i think you've been so transparent as you always are tonight and that, that's that's lovely <laughs> thanks so, man. appreciate it yeah no and uh, you know i've dealt with josh for a little while now and he is a great guy to deal with straight as a gate as we say in Norfolk. <laughs> straight as a gate <laughs> <laughs> 
All, all right. right. So, and thanks to all you and, and everyone in chat. You've been re you've participated superbly tonight. Yeah. It's really really been Appreciate enjoyable. It's been some excellent answers and and good questions and and things in there as well. So, thank you. So, until next time, uh, I'll see you soon. That'll be next Tuesday, I would think, uh, at eight thirty. Thanks, folks. Take care. Bye Cheers, guys. Take care.